this is Caitlin from the North County Branch of the Street from Royal Library, and today we'll be reading Gobble Gobble Tucker. Tucker is napping one fall day when he catches a whiff of something delicious. He knows that smell. It's turkey. And that means it must be Thanksgiving. Tucker follows the scent to the kitchen where everyone is getting ready for the big meal. Tucker stays nearby, sniffing all the exciting smells. He wants to help too, especially if someone drops some food. Then Tucker and his girl clean up the house, set the table and make decorations. See? They have a turkey decoration and a cornucopia. When the doorbell rings, Tucker runs to greet everyone. Some pat his head or even better, give him belly rubs. But his favorite visitors are his cousins, Tiger and Murphy. They bark their hellos, then sniff and wrestle around. When they're ready for a break, Tucker shows them all the yummy food that's in the kitchen. He has the turkey, it's like some pies and a cake, all kinds of yummy stuff. Tiger begs for some turkey, please. Cousin Murphy whimpers for mashed potatoes. But Tucker knows it's not time yet. So Grandma shoes them all outside. But Tucker and his cousins don't mind. They love to play football in the leaves. Finally, it's time for Thanksgiving dinner. Tucker and his cousins wait patiently while everyone eats. The meal is over and the dogs haven't even had a bite. But wait, they get to have their very own feast. They made a big feast for the puppies. Family, friends, and turkey. What a perfect day, thinks Tucker. He's already dreaming about next year. He's curled up in his bed with his name and thinking about next Thanksgiving. The end. All right, today we'll be making a leaf crown. To start off, you're gonna need a paper plate and you'll need an adult to help you with this part. You're gonna cut your paper plate so that you have a whole bunch of triangles. And then you're gonna to wanna to poof up your triangles so it looks like a crown. From there, we're gonna cut out some leaves. I have green paper and red paper. And I've already cut out some leaf shapes. You see here. And we're gonna glue them onto our crown. So we'll just get a little bit of glue here. We'll put it on our leaf and stick it to our crown. Now you can also get markers and decorate your crown. I'm using an orange to draw on some orange leaves since I only had red and green paper. And we also have a green so that we can draw some vines all throughout the crown. All right. And from there, you have your leaf crown that you can wear. Oh, all right. <laughs> I can't wait to see y'all until our next story time. Bye-bye.